yes. We're back out on the bank again. Yeah, we've been buzzing to get back down here. Part two of Into the Unknown. And we've had a lot of water over the last few days, which has really helped to push these water levels up. So fingers crossed, we can get amongst them. The fish are gonna be feeling the freedom to move about because it's a very shallow lake. It's up about a foot and a half, two foot. So yeah, this looks absolutely spot on. The waterfall's raging. Um, yeah, a bit of a funny January, really. Um, I got down here on New Year's Day. I did a quick session on New Year's Day. Did a couple of hours on my own. I a bagged one and then a mate rang me up and wanted to join me. So he come down, joined me down here. He didn't have anything, unfortunately, but I did have two more as well. There's not really a lot of footage for it, but there's a few bits, the, all the runs and the pictures of the fish, little videos of the fish and everything like that. So um, yeah, I'll stick that little video in there now, but I did lose a little bit of footage on that. I deleted it accidentally. So um, yeah, I'll chuck that in now and then we'll come back to this session. Took off <laughs> out of nowhere. Hey, get in that net. But first fish, part two into the unknown. Check out that ghosty. That is stunning, man. Absolutely stunning. Never seen a hook before. That's a little beauty. And you get this back, fingers crossed. Now a few more like this. Nice, isn't it? There it is, second fish of the session. Look at that, never been caught before. Perfect mouth. Beautiful fish. We'll stick this one back, fingers crossed. Get something bigger than this. Rock it off. What? Even though these are all wild carp, they all look really healthy, quite fat, really good condition, lovely mouths and everything. It's like they've never ever seen a hook before. Back on the little lake. Yeah, lovely. So yeah, I had three bangers out, New Year's Day, lovely looking fish. The first fish of 2024, that ghosty, was absolutely stunning. Was buzzing with that. But um, yeah, got my mate didn't have anything. It was a pretty slow day, but I did manage three, which was good. Um, yeah, every time I've been to go fishing, because I have my kids every other weekend, the weekends that I do have my kids, the, the lakes seem to be free of ice. And when I don't have my kids, they're frozen or flooded. It's been a nightmare for us anglers this, this January. A lot of lakes have flooded out, stopped people from fishing and stuff with the ice. It wasn't great. But like I said, it is, I thought it's the time right this very second. Let me just check the time quickly. Half past seven on the 11th of February. The alarms are there. All three rods are basically ready to go. I've got a Nikon mesh bags. Yeah, I've got, um, bought some new goodies. This is the new Catran Cobra hook link. Absolutely lovely stuff. Ties really, really well. Really supple. That's a lovely hook link, I can't wait to try it. Reason why I got that, as well as the new Catran Krypton mainline, is I'm going to Gigantica next month. And I wanted to beef my line up a little bit and I wanted something new and I've always wanted to, well, I've wanted to try that for a couple of months since I've known about it. So it's all spooled up at 17 and a half pounds, ready to go over to France and Gigantica. I'm on Road Lake. 
yeah that's absolutely lovely line that is really really nice and the hook link is just as good so have a check that out have a look into it it's catran bringing out some lovely materials but yeah rods are ready to go all i've got to do is nick on little mesh bags squid 2t and krill pellet right look at that the rods are now out on their spots buzzing fingers crossed for a few bites today yeah part two into the unknown let's try and see what the special lake throws out to us today but i reckon i reckon one for a few bites the water level is way up how it should be down here all the time this is the sort of depth it should be at least so yeah looking good i reckon these fish are going to be moving about hopefully having a munch up Fish. Get in that net. All right, there we go. Lovely little ghosty to start the session off. Been here for an hour and a half now. Yeah, stunning, massive tail on it. Epic man, buzzing. Uh, Inibut baits, squid 2T, and krill pellets. Smashing it. Lovely little wild one. Get in there. Mate, that was an absolutely banging ghosty. What a fish, man. This lake just keeps producing the goods. All three rods have been freshened up again. Little mesh bags here from there are flicked out on their spots. These two rods here are like inches away from the branches on the island. These two are mustard. The one I had the fish on them a little bit further away than I wanted to, but I was having trouble getting it on the spot. A lot of overhanging branches and stuff, and it can mess with your eyes. So I'm a little bit off where I want to be, only by about a foot. So hopefully, it doesn't matter. But yeah, I reckon we're on for another fish or two, fingers crossed. Beautiful. It's been an absolutely beautiful day. Some of the clouds that are rolling in now. It is gonna rain soon. Oh, I've got a fish on. I've got a fish, one minute. All right, good. Yay. Get in that net. Lovely little wild common. Look at that, absolutely perfect. There you go, have a look at that. Picture perfect wild carp. Right, like I thought, it just absolutely smashed it down. And while it was raining, I managed to bag another one, didn't I? Another little common. But yeah. I'm hooking mats up there drying off, jackets drying off as well. But once this passes, in a few minutes, looks to, looks to be blue skies again. Yeah, that absolutely smashed it down for about five minutes. Yeah, come on, fingers crossed for another fish.
go. Another stunning little wild carp. Get in there. All right, that's another fish. Yeah, bleeding from the mouth a little bit, that was. First time they've ever been caught, so this one was bleeding a little bit. They treated it with a little bit of um, propolis. Set it on its way. Happy days, another fish. We've got about 20 minutes left on this session. And it's probably going to be my last session down here for a while. I've still got the secret syndicate and stuff to fish. Fishing there are big as well, absolutely big. I'm piling the weight on, the proper A team ain't even been out. So they're going to be mid 40s at least by now. Absolutely piling on the weight, so I need to get back down there. The only reason I wasn't there this weekend is because it was flooded. And that's the only reason, but... I'm absolutely, yeah, I've, I've loved my time down on this unknown lake. And this, 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 this whole thing, it was never about catching monster carp. It was about just finding a place by chance on Google Map and just hoping for carp in there. Coming down, giving it a go. Yeah, and it, it all paid off in the end. It was really nice to catch some wild carp. some absolute beauties out of here as well, carp that I've never seen a hook before. And these days that's a rare thing to find. But like I said, I've got other waters to concentrate on. Middle of next month, I'm fishing Gigantica Road Lake in France for a week with my dad and a few, a few other people. Really looking forward to that. And then um, I've also joined another syndicate as well. I'm not going to go into too much detail about that, but I tried to get on there and the first time of asking, luckily enough, they offered me a ticket, so yeah, buzzing with that as well, there's a few lakes on the complex. Yeah, I can't wait to get stuck in with that, so I've got a lot of things going on at the moment. And like I said, a couple of weekends time, next week, this weekend coming, I've got the kids. So the weekend after, I'll be down the secret syndicate for 48 hours. But yeah, we're chasing after those chunks again. Right, that is it. All of the stuff is packed up. We're ready to go. Oh, I forgot about that. I bought myself a new tracker rucksack to do my fishing because before I was using a normal rucksack backpack thing and it wasn't really suited to the job but that is for this place has been so kind to me I've absolutely loved every minute on here I'm telling you catching completely wild uncaught carp from a lake that I found on Google Maps I never even knew if there was any carp in here to start with and over three or four sessions, I think I've taken out 12, 13 carp or something like that. So yeah, really, really happy with that. They're all in immaculate condition. And if you can find a place like this, you'll win them. But it's not always about chasing chunks, the biggest fish, but it is about chasing carp. As long as you're catching carp and out there trying to catch carp, then you're a winner. Yeah, proper happy with that. Few sessions, what a result, but I'm gonna get back to catching some big carp now, I think. I've had a bit of fun. I'll be back on here. Like I said, it's time to get back after those chunks again.